What's up guys? Welcome back to Rusty Nights Media and today is the day for Gooch. Gooch is finally getting the big turbo put on. We've got the manifold coated. We've got the exhaust wrap ready to go on it. We've got the new gasket ready to go. We're going to get the turbo mounted to it, all that stuff, and then put it on there as one big unit. So we're going to be working on this today. We're going to be trying to move a little quick. Um, I'm trying to get this thing on because we still have to fabricate the exhaust pipes for off the turbo, out of the hood. The wastegate dump tube has to come out, and then also the intercooler piping has to be fabricated, and we've got to make sure the intake will fit um, everything in here. So there's a lot of stuff to be done today, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and, uh, and just follow along as we put this turbo on the car. So here we go. <laughs> guys we got it all wrapped up we've got everything finished that's what it looks like right now uh, so it's been ceramic coated for the heat and we've also wrapped it some people say not to do both I don't really care I'm doing both um, so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna go ahead and stick the turbo on here and get it clocked the way we need it because this is gonna mount to the head straight up and down like that and that's not exactly up and down it's a bit in an angle so we're gonna get the turbo sitting on here and go ahead and clock it which way it needs to be same thing with the wastegate get it turned which way it needs to be that way when it goes on the car we're not having to lean over the engine bay and work on it while it's back there we can go ahead and get most of it knocked out right here on the workbench and then we can get this thing thrown on the car a little bit easier and save our backs a little bit today so we're gonna go ahead and get the turbo sitting on here clock it a little bit and see what we can do with it so here we go all right, so we got the turbo clamped on there. We're about to throw the wastegate on here. Over here, we've got the turbo clocked the way we need it as far as the hot side, the center cartridge when this is completely vertical like it would be on the head. The feed line and the drain are straight up and down. If I can get in there and see the drain. There we go. And then the cold side, I've left it just loose for now. That way, as soon as we get it in, I can clock it the way that I need I need this to face for the intercooler piping, and then we can lock all these down to finalize that. So once we get the wastegate V-banded on here and clock the way that we want it, we'll be ready to throw this entire assembly on the car. So give me just one minute. Now, I don't know how you guys do things at your shop when you're fabricating, but we use an $80 Harbor Freight welder and some universal pipes we got off the internet and we just go to town, man. We freehand everything, we eyeball everything. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just exhaust pipes for the most part, so. Um, that's what we're doing right now. Cody's welding up some exhaust pipes. We'll throw it on the car in just a minute, so. We're getting it done, slowly but surely. All right, so we've made a little progress. <laughs> Actually, we've made all the progress. Um, Jake is already in the bed. Cody's already left. Everybody's already gone. It's just me here. I stayed and finished up. So uh, the camera died. I couldn't record a whole lot of stuff. But basically, it's just cutting pipes, fitting pipes, welding, cleaning it up. Um, we did a little uh, coating on it to help the help keep the temperatures down. And basically, this this kit's done. It's on the car. Um, this is what it looks like right now. So. The turbo is on, we've got the manifold on, it's been coated and wrapped, we've got the turbo on, the wastegate is on, the turbo drain line is hooked up, the turbo feed line is hooked up, 
The exhaust off the turbo has been fabbed up. The O2 sensor and the wideband are in. The wastegate dump tube has been ran. All that's done. Um, the turbo heat blanket is on. Uh, the intercooler piping is all done. So that's it. That's the turbo kit right there. That's all there is to it. Really simple, uh, straightforward swap. It took most of the day just fabricating pipes. The temperature is dropping now. The propane heater has ran out of propane. So I'm finishing up here today and I wanted to get this all done uh, and crank it before I left. So I've already filled it up with oil. Um, like I said, the feed line and the drain line is on. The oil's in the car, I've checked it. It's all good, the coolant's good in the car. So it's actually ready to crank. I'm gonna prime it a couple times and then crank it. But before I do that, um, I'll probably leave the intake off of it for right now, just to get it cranked up, let it idle for a little bit, let all that coating get up to temperature, uh, let it idle for just a little while, and then, uh, and then possibly put the intake on right before I leave to make sure everything fits up there. And, and that's about it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crank the car and we'll do that. All right, I'm gonna prime it and make sure it's got oil pressure. And now I'm gonna crank it up. Guys, I'm gonna call that a success. 
Uh, the car cranks, runs fine, idles fine. Of course, we have to do a, a new tune for the turbo, but I wanted to go ahead and crank it up just to make sure everything's good there. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any exhaust leaks. There are a couple things I've got to fix before we go for a drive. Um, like the oil feed line, I don't like the routing for it. I'll probably have to route it a different way so it's not touching this exhaust pipe. And it's also really close to this belt down here. You probably can't see it, but it's really close to that. And there's a couple other wires that I want to route a little bit differently. But like I said, I wanted to go ahead and get it together just so I could crank it up and, uh, and make sure everything's good there. So uh, the next few days, I'll probably just be setting the car down on the ground, rerouting a few things. I've got to get a different coupler for the intake to go on. I don't want to open turbo like that. Um, it's cool to see it spin, but I do want to intake on the car, so I'll have to get a coupler for that. A uh, couple other small things, and then in the next few days, we'll be going for a small test drive to get a nice little street tune on it, just to be able to drive it around a little bit. And then also we'll be booking another dyno day to take it to the dyno and turn this thing as far up as we can get it to go. Uh, hopefully over 600 horsepower, we'll see what it does, what kind of boost we can run. Um, the fuel system, I think, is gonna be the limiting factor with this build. It's only a single Walbro 450 pump and 1300 cc injectors. But we are on C16 and not uh, ethanol, so I think it'll take us a little bit farther than, than it would have if we would have went on E85 or anything like that. So that's what's gonna be coming up in the next couple days. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here at the shop shut everything down, uh, turn the lights off, lock up, and head home. So we'll be planning for the next couple days to be getting into the dyno, tuning it, all that kind of stuff, getting it ready for the street, just tidying up everything that we've done tonight, and then hopefully making some big power, and by next weekend, I plan on being back at the track. So that's the plans for right now, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel like this video, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think about it, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.